Hello all. Um, tomorrow's the big day is releases of uh, Ubuntu 12.04, um, Precise Pangolin or whatever it's called. Um, so today's April 25th and tomorrow's 26th. And I thought uh, I'd just uh, discuss on how uh, I think of uh, installing different uh, themes for the look of your uh, windows and stuff. And I break it down into uh, three categories, main categories. So let's open, um, let me see, let's just open any folder, I guess. Okay, um, the top part around here where you have the minimize and the maximize and the close button and stuff, or maybe the, the bar at the bottom, the status bar if you have it, is I, I refer to that as to the window window area, the chrome area, basically. So, like, if you had no window around here, there'd be, like, you know, no chrome. Um, the inside, the guts of inside the window is known as the uh, GTK Plus theme, which is, uh, GTK stands for GNOME uh, Toolkit. So, I'll close this. And to install themes, uh, you have several options. Uh, for example, you can use My Unity, uh, Ubuntu Tweak, or a more comprehensive one is uh, that uh, everybody knows it as GNOME. There, uh, nope. Tweak. Where'd it go? Sorry. Tweak. There it goes. Advanced Settings. And the theme. So yeah, the window theme, this top part, I have as ambience, as deep window, uh, windows, the window d default for Ubuntu. Um, the GTK plus theme is ambience. That's again default, and then uh, Ubuntu mono dark icon theme. So there's uh, the window, GTK, and I forgot to mention the icon theme, which is obviously, I'll just for the purpose of this, is these, the icons. Okay. Now I have several um, uh, themes installed, so all I have to do is click this and choose one, like say elementary, and you can see the top thing, just the top Chrome part, as I call it, changed. And if I want to change the inside of this window, uh, like a dramatic change, would be something like Gnomish Dark. You can see that right away, and that reflects this on top. Um, back to ambience, and you can see you can sort of mix, mix and match, right? So you have the window theme, elementary, and the GTK Plus theme as ambience. Um, what else can we have? Uh, we we can match those two, elementary, or we could say. Oh, this is a GNOME 3. So this... Okay. Uh, has that done anything to the icons yet? No. Okay. So then we'll we'll check... Oh boy. An icon theme. I think these are kind of neat. I got these uh, from... One of the... Sites. Uh, Launchpad sites. So, Humanity Colors. So, say Dark Blue. Now, here we go, they've changed here on the side, and if you open your home folder, for example, you can see that these have changed. This is a, now a, a brighter top part and a brighter um, inside the window theme. So that's basically it as far as changing themes. They, they usually take um, change immediately. Um, chances are, if the, the window theme doesn't work, right away you might have to log out or maybe even reboot. Um, now having said that, I think the easiest way to go back to right out of the box how your system was set up before you change any themes is just go to uh, your default on your system. In this example it's ambient, so default. And boom, you're back. Your icons are back. Your folders are back. Your window chrome look is back. Everything's um, back to the way it was. So, uh, I don't know how much time I'm taking up. Um, 
but uh, that gives you an idea. Um, if I have enough time, I'll uh, I'll pause this video and uh, be back, and I'll show you how to uh, install a theme by downloading a, a compressed file. Okay, so I'll be back. Okay, um, now I found a fairly recent theme called. It's hard. I'm not sure. Zakuto. Zakito two Zakute something like that. <laughs> um, this is the G the known 3.4, which Ubuntu um, 1204 has, and uh, he recommends you get the Microsoft Core fonts. Um, if you don't have those, you just go to package, not package. Well, you could go to Software Center and. Uh, Install the uh, restricted add-ons package for Ubuntu. Uh, yep. Most of it's uh, pretty straightforward. So we'll go down to the bottom. Well, actually, let's take a look. Let's maximize the screen. Let's take a look at some of the screenshots. Just to know what we're going to expect. So it's pretty um, light-looking. And I guess this would be in uh, GNOME Shell 3. Not sure. Looks like it. It probably would be better in this, but just for the purposes of this, we'll just, uh, yeah, okay. Download this. So, go to download. Wait for three seconds or more. There we go. Save file. Done. And he also mentions uh, that the instructions are in the uh, download archive. So, let's go to downloads. And you double click install. Um, the easiest way is to put in the, the, the your home and your username and then dot themes directory. Uh, we'll leave this open and we'll go to. Uh, oops. What am I doing? Alt up. Okay. And you can type in the top if you have that, or you can just select unhide by Control H. Let's do Control H then. And if you don't have the themes, this uh, folder, just make it. That's all. So it's dot themes, no capital. And you see, I have some stuff in here. So we'll go back to the archive. We'll just grab them all by selecting Control A, okay, and drag it in here. Now, hopefully, uh, if you install other themes, uh, you're not gonna. I'm not sure if these are probably this one you need, but anyway, just be careful not to overwrite something. So we'll go to um, our uh, advanced tools advanced settings and window theme there we go Zucchito dark that's nice and Zucchito dark okay or just the regular one get down there and I don't think this has any icons with it I don't think so let's choose something like F dark. This will be pretty uh, nuts as long as we don't crash. And there we go. There. I managed to change the uh, theme. And you see your icons. Some of them have changed. Some of them haven't. And sometimes if you reboot or log out, some of them will have changed when you log back in. So yeah, that's that's basically how you would download a theme off the internet. This one was pretty easy though. Um, and you just place it in your home directory under themes and uh, fingers crossed that it shows up and so yeah that concludes uh, this uh, video for now and uh, I hope you hope this has helped somebody out uh, installing themes especially with tomorrow being the big day with uh, Ubuntu 12.04 unleashed to the world so as always uh, have a good one and uh, I'll put the, all the stuff in the um, notes there, description panel. So, okay, 
Thanks for watching as always and bye for now.